Hey guys, it's Charles Float here and welcome back to the channel and welcome to the first ever video covering the brand new Topical Map AI version 1.0. This tool takes what is usually the very, very boring and long-winded task of researching niches, clustering the keywords, filtering the ideas, then building out the map for how it all fits into your specific site's structure. Our tool takes all of that, puts it into one extremely simple to use format that spits out the entire thing in just a few minutes. So in this video, I'll show you how we've used AI to build the best SEO workflow for researching niches and building out sites or pages easier than ever before. Let's jump into it. Okay, so the first thing you're going to be greeted by when you log into Topical Map AI is your new map builder. And currently I have access to two out of the four map building processes, but the product idea map and the question map are coming very shortly. Hopefully, by the time this video launches, you'll be able to at least get access to the product idea map. However, I'm going to show you both of the current two maps, which are the main core features. And by the time you understand these two, you'll get a feel for what the other two have to offer anyway. So let's go ahead and jump straight into the SEO map to start things off. And we'll create an SEO map. So to demonstrate the raw power of Topical Map AI, I'm going to have ChatGPT's free 4.0 model choose the topic and niche I'm going to be using for me. So I've got this little prompt here together. It's nothing special. It's going to go ahead and update it and it's going to come out with emerging technologies, health and wellness, biohacking, all this kind of stuff, right? So let's just go with the second one here, biohacking, right? I'll copy biohacking and we'll go straight over to the map and I'm going to go ahead and fill out all of these details. Okay, so I've gone ahead and filled out a few of these details now, which is the optimal settings that I actually personally use whenever I use Topical Map AI. So the first thing is that you can fill out the map name, and this can literally be anything, but I normally try and use something that allows me to understand what kind of map I'm building so that I can later reference it in my project folders. Then I put in my niche, and this is the very important keyword or topic that you can put in, and you can put in a couple variations. If you wanted to put in a keyword like FenQ reviews, for example, so a specific keyword instead of a topic, the tool will actually start building you an entity map. However, what we are normally going to be doing to build an SEO map is inputting a broader or generic niche, which is going to build as an actual SEO map to build multiple pages and hopefully start dominating the SERPs with really high level, high quality content. So I've gone ahead and put in our niche from ChatGPT up here. I've chosen the language to be English US and there's a bunch of different languages that you can choose from here. I've then also put the United States and again you can choose from a bunch of our different countries in here already and we are constantly updating countries so if there's any specific countries that we don't already have on this list ask me in the comments and I will send it through to our developers to add to the queue. Then I can choose the model and I currently believe that the Claude 3.5 Sonnet model is the number one model to use and we actually put Claude both Claude models as the default models for you to choose from because they tend to output the best amount of research, especially with how we have configured and integrated the tool with other APIs and research formats. Then I can choose to edit my subtopics or not, which I'm going to choose to do so on this occasion, but I won't be adding in or editing anything for this specific one. And I can generate the cluster view with metrics straight away, but I'm actually going to do that after the fact so I can show you how to do that inside the map once you choose if you want to spend those credits or not. So I'm then just going to click generate map. Then it's going to actually allow me to edit or add to the subtopics for the map and start building out some of these keywords. So I think it's already gotten basically all the things that I want it to cover. The main thing it hasn't actually added is the core topic. So I'll just go ahead and click manually add subtopic and I'm just going to put in biohacking. I can copy that. And I can put it straight over to the main parent topic as well. And then that's going to include a actual main keyword research segment for the main topic on top of all the other topics that I think are pretty good in terms of things that I can monetize or that will contribute to my site's topical authority. So I can go ahead and click generate my map. It will redirect me slowly and then it will take me back to my main maps page 
which will allow me to load this page, which says it is currently in progress. But if I go ahead and reload it, we should have our map ready to go. Now, this map doesn't look fantastic out of the box because it's got all of the standard issues of us having to sort through all of these different keywords that aren't all that extremely related to each other and start creating our site map. So what you do is go over to actions and you click get cluster map. Now you can select your country and language again. I want to click United States and stick with English US and generate the map, which costs me one credit. And it will say it takes four to five minutes and to refresh your browser after that time window. But it really depends on how many topics you've generated in the first place. I have about 384, which means it's going to take around two minutes. For every 200 topics, you can expect it to take around one minute. So I'm going to go ahead and let this jump out of it. But the last two things are that obviously what you can already do is download your CSV of all of this straight out of the box and start filtering through anything yourself. Or you can copy either of them and put them into whatever SEO tool you like out of the box. Okay, so I've clicked refresh on the page and what the tool has done is created the clustered map over here. So I can click on the clustered map and it's taken all of these topics, subtopics over here and all the micro topics, aka keywords, which the proprietary AI has come up with and researched on your behalf in a matter of moments. It is then clustered everything for you into your topic, subtopic, primary keywords, giving you a meta title, giving you a URL, and you can go ahead, click actions and download this CSV, which gives you a 100% usable sheet that is formatted in the exact same manner as above that you can give to your team, VAs, or yourself to use to build out your site's topical authority and absolutely smash rankings like there's no tomorrow with the most affordable way to do this out of the box. And the other primary mapping function that we have at Topical Map AI is the social first maps. These allow you to get ideas for clickbait content used to generate traffic from Google Discover and social media sites like Facebook, Pinterest, X, and even LinkedIn if you're doing B2B sales. So I'm just going to go ahead and ask ChatGPT once again for a niche that we can use for the social mapping on here. And it's straight away come back with small space living as the first one. So before it even finishes, I'm going to go ahead and stop it here. Copy small space living. Go back over to Topical Map AI. Create my social map. Paste in my niche. And then I'll fill out the other details. Okay, so I filled in the rest of the map. And we're actually going to target the UK this time just to show some additional variation in what this tool is capable of doing. And I'm going to make sure that we go with fewer topics. Generally speaking, the more generic niche that you put in, the broader you can go with the topics and the more topics you actually want to be targeting with that niche. However, this is a fairly small one. And considering we're making it just about the UK, it's going to be even smaller. I'm going to stick with Claude 3.5 Sonnet. And I'm not going to edit the subtopics this time because we already did earlier. However, I always, always recommend that you do manually edit those subtopics just so that you get the most optimal output. But I can go ahead and click generate map and it should only take a couple of minutes for me to get my output. And there we have it. Our topic integrated with trending news and clickbait style titles to try and get as much traffic generated as possible if you go ahead and start creating these pages for your own website. As always, I always recommend that you manually edit and do your own additional research into these tools. You shouldn't just 100% rely on AI. But to be very fair, we have got this tool to do 99% of the work for you. So as long as you're doing that little extra 1%, you should be good. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.